as we step into this new month. May God grace light your path. May peace and joy fill your heart. And may every day bring you closer to your aspiration. In Jesus' name, Amen. Good morning. Happy new day. Happy new month. Monday, July 1st, 2024. This is Love World, taking you open heaven, a guide to a close fellowship with God. In our custom, let's say, Hallelujah. 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 It's an heaven language. Hallelujah song. We never say so I'm out in Jesus' name. Amen. The topic before this morning is return on seed. Return on seed. I'm a first time in the book of Mark 4, verse 20. I read. And this a day which has sown on cool ground, such as hear the word and receive seeds, and bring forth fruit, some thirtyfold, some sixty, and some an hundred. And this are they which are sown on good ground, such as hear the word and receive it, and bring forth fruit, some thirtyfold, some sixty, and some an hundred. In finance, there's something called return on investments. Likewise, in the kingdom of God, there is something I would like to call return on seed. This is the profit you make when a seed is sold in the kingdom of God. According to the Bible reading, there's possibility of having a zero return on seed sold or a 30, 60, or hundred full returns. Also, as you will learn later in this series, there is possibility of having unlimited return on your seed. Two things determine your return on seed. The first is what is left with you after sowing. In other words, how sacrificial to your seed. The second is the soil on which you sow. Today, I will focus on the kind of soil that brings zero return on seed. Many years ago, I was sowing seed into a ministry abroad. I knew about the law of harvest, so I kept sowing. However, nothing was coming forth. I became worried, and so I started to ask God what was happening. They had a dream. In the dream, I was standing on a farmland with it that showed that things had been sown on the land. I lifted one of the heaps, and underneath it was solid land. I lifted one of the heaps, and underneath is solid concrete. This means that nothing could grow on the land. When I woke up, I knew the meaning of the dream. With the ministry I had been sowing into, was good as concrete ground. No seed will he return when so dear. If you sow a seed in the place that God does not approve of your seed, we lead to no return. God cares about the poor, therefore, when you sow into their life, Psalm 41, verse 1 says that He will deliver you in the day of trouble. God cares about His prophets and ministers, so when you sow into their life, you will get a reward. Matthew 10, verse 41 to 42. God cares about his church, so when you sow into ministry, you'll be rewarded. Malachi 3 verse 10 If the place you sow into only look like a ministry from the outside, but the devote of God present, then your seed will be yield zero return. You can decide to give anybody money if you wish, but if it's a seed, ensure that you are sowing in a place or the person that God is interested in. Don't sow your seed on concrete and expect a return. It will not yield anything at all. Nothing. But then, I want to read the book of Matthew 13, verse 1 to 8. And our Bible in one year, Proverbs 8, verse 11. Our hymn in 26. There shall be showers of blessing. There shall be showers 
of blessing. Our key point for today, be sure of the soil before you sow your seed in it. Be sure of the soil before you sow your seed in it. And I pray by the special grace of God, heaven will locate you for good. The goodness of God will manifest in your life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Brethren, this is your word. Till I come your way tomorrow, don't forget, subscribe to the channel, click on the like button, share with your friends and family, and goodness of God will never leave your life. Have a nice day and bye for now. God bless you. And the King, happy new week and happy new month. God bless you. We are reading minds united in love. Jesus is for us. We shall Hallelujah. Hallelujah.